So hello, I'm Janine Weigold and I work in the animation team at Netflix. Um, I'm focusing on kids and family series. Our target market is around the world. Um, our members have very different tastes and moods and they value a variety of must-watch shows and movies. Um, that's why we are investing in shows and films to continue to improve the value of our storytelling and ensure we are entertaining a wide variety of audiences around the world. Um, at our core, it's always creating great stories, inspiring immersive worlds and creating strong characters and clearly working with world-class talent. Um, yeah, that's actually at the core what we do. Um, my focus is kids and family, though at Netflix we are active in many more audiences, also not only in animation, but let's focus on animation here. So also in animation, we offer a range of um, animation across the ages from preschool kids to kids to families, as well as adults. Uh, there's a few examples that I can give. So we have creature cases for the preschool audience, um, Sonic Prime for kids, family, My Dad the Bounty Hunter for family and Big Mouth and a Cane going into the adult audiences. Um, yeah, we also have many animated features, including the BAFTA and Oscar winning feature Pinocchio from Guillermo del Toro, as well as the Oscar nominated feature The Sea Bees from Chris Williams, which is our most successful animated Netflix feature to date. And um, yeah, that's actually the variety that we offer and a variety up for, for the members around the world. I'm based in London, so my remit is a European remit. So I'm looking at pitches and um, shows and projects from this region. But clearly we take pitches from around the world. Um, so yeah, the door is open. The platform's superpower is variety. We are committed to building a world-class animation slate with three main areas of focus, which is kids and family, adult animation, and anime. Anime is largely managed by our colleagues in Japan. Um, but yeah, we are offering a variety of series and films to our members. And we cover all techniques um, from 2D to stop motion, rotoscope, 3D, anime. So we are really open to all the techniques. Um, and yeah, I think we delight our large and diverse members base through providing both quality and variety. We work really hard to ensure there's something for everyone in Netflix, regardless of the age, the location, the language you speak, the mood, the interest. Come to Netflix and you find something. So variety is our superpower. Some of our most successful shows include Sonic Prime, Coco Melon, The Cuphead Show, My Dad, The Bounty Hunter, and Gabby's Dollhouse. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a variety of reasons why they work. <laughs> but um, to focus on a few, I think something that is based on existing IP with a certain variety or a large fan base, example, something is based on a book or a game like Sonic Prime, The Cuphead Show, um, that's uh, one reason for why they work um, or also something that has a very clear target audience. Uh, so nailing the core, but then offering different entry points for different demographic beyond the core. That's also something that um, helps the success on a, for a Netflix show. One example that I want to give is uh, Gabby's Dollhouse. It's uh, at the core a preschool series, but through the different characters and the different topics and also the live action piece, it offers... Uh, other target groups to also enter into the show. For example, it's super cute. So I think younger kids also like to watch it, but then the live action piece and the um, arts and graft tips, for example, also invite older kids to watch. And that makes it a bit of a wider target audience. While at core, it's a preschool show. Oh, lots of things, but I name a few. This summer we will launch Super Team 4, which is created by Malenga Mulendema from Zambia. It's our first animated series from Africa, and we are very excited about that one. It follows the story of four teens who become superheroes and save the world all while doing their homework. Um, so it's a lot of action, comedy, adventure. And then we are also excited about Mecha Deaths, which brings you to the future. It's a thrilling sci-fi action adventure about a group of teens who save humanity. Um, and then finally, we also have a movie, Nimona, which premiered at Annecy to rave reviews, and it's based on a graphic novel by Andy Stevenson. It's about a shape-shifting girl um, who helps out, who helps to sort out crimes. Um, yeah, lots of things that keep you on the toes and um, <laughs> bring you lots of action and adventure to your home. But later this year, we are also looking forward to bringing our members the launches of Unicorn Academy, Captain Laserhawk, and the much-anticipated sequel to Chicken Run, 
Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget from Artman. That's just a few. There's more, but uh, hope you enjoy these. The best way to pitch is um, reaching out. Don't be afraid. We are here. We are in the region. Send us an email. Um, clearly, we cannot take unsolicited pitches, but um, if you meet us or see us somewhere, hook us up and then send us an email and then we can set up a meeting in person or you send us the materials through email. Basically, whatever is comfortable for you is best for us. And um, we love to look at the pitch. <laughs>